Now let's get you the latest in the big war of words over Maharashtra Gujarat mega project war. Now a letter has surfaced of Union Transport Minister Mr. Nitin Gadkari, who remember hails from Maharashtra. He's written a letter to the Tata Group chairman N. Chandrasekharan seeking the infrastructural investment in and around Nagpur in Maharashtra. Now the letter is dated 7th of October and in a bid to lure the business group, Gadkari has cited strengths like infrastructure, land availability and connectivity in his home state of Maharashtra. Remember, this comes in a time when MVA, the erstwhile Aghadi, has attacked the Maharashtra government for losing projects to the state of Gujarat, which, remember, is under the rule of the BJP. Udhav Sena faction has meanwhile released a letter dating October 2021, that is a letter from last year, in which the Guardian Minister of the State, Nashik Jagan Bujbal, had congratulated Ratan Tata for begging the Tata Airbus project and had requested him to set up the project in Maharashtra, in a way trying to prove that the MVA was pushing to bring this project to the state. And Shrishti joins us live on the broadcast. Shrishti, there are uh, two new angles uh, you know, emerging in the story. One is the Union Transport Minister Nitin Gadkari uh, writing a letter to the Tata uh, Sons where you know, he's actually citing the strengths of the state and why they must look forward to investing in Maharashtra and Nagpur. First, tell us about the contents of that particular letter. Then, we, then we'll come to the uh, other angle, which is Udhav uh, targeting the Shinde Fadnavis Sarkar. Yes, definitely Nitin Gadkari earlier has written letter to Tata Group asking the project should be done in Nagpur and Mihan itself as it has a lot of infrastructural facilities. And all the projects can be done in a particular area in Nagpur wherein the industries can grow and of course the employment for Nagpur girls will also emerge as Nitin, Gadkari, uh, Nitin Gadkari's hometown is Nagpur. He was very positive about this project to bring it back to Nagpur uh, and that's why he wrote the whole letter uh, asking Tata and Sons, the whole company regarding the project to be done in Nagpur. But now what we are collecting that project has gone out of Maharashtra's hand to Gujarat and today uh, let me t tell you that today Narendra Modi uh, Prime Minister Narendra Modi will be uh, will be doing the first uh, stone uh, of the particular project in Gujarat All right Trishti also you know uh, this time Udav uh, has once again in fact uh, armed up attack on the current government saying that, you know, uh, we are back to back losing out projects to the state of Gujarat, uh, Gujarat, which is under the control of BJP. And, you know, he's also, in fact, talking about how uh, it's a massive loss to the youth of the state as the employment opportunities are being missed out on. What more can you tell us in terms of the Udhav's uh, latest attack on the ruling government? Yes, not only Uddhav Thakre, but also Aditya Thakre and other leaders from MVA government are attacking with full power towards the BJP and Shinde-led government in Maharashtra. As project by project, it is slipping out of Maharashtra's hand and it is a big thing for the employment to be generated in the state of Maharashtra. Even earlier, Aditya Thakre has demanded the resignation letter of uh, industry minister Uday Samant wherein he said that he was Uday Samant lying when he said that he is trying to fetch the project in Maharashtra. What exactly has happened? Give us clarity, otherwise give resignation. Even Supriya Sore, who is from NCP, she also asked three major questions to the Uday Samant. She mentioned in her press conference that he is my younger brother, used to be, yeah, Uday Samant used to be my younger brother, but I want to ask him uh, the questions regarding this project that was he lying when he was saying that the projects will come to uh, Maharashtra? Uh, is there anything which is being pressured and what exactly has happened uh, in last year or, uh, or these last three months? She needs clarity about it. So the whole MBA government is targeting now Eknath Shinde led government over here in Maharashtra regarding the project being slipped out of Maharashtra's hand and this is a major chunk of project which could have brought a great employment in this particular state of Maharashtra but now what we are collecting is that the project is slipped out of Maharashtra's hand after the Vedanta Fox song. Yes, absolutely. So after a slew of projects, including Vedanta, Foxconn and Bulk Drugs uh, Park project, now another project 
and loss of the state of Gujarat. And once again, Udhav actually amping up attack and in fact, uh, you know, showing for, uh, showing a letter that's dated October 2021, where he goes on to show how his government was actually pitching. They were actually pushing for the project. Uh, Shashi, thank you so much for joining us live with all those details.